Old man's bed was originally uh, introduced into New Zealand in the 1920s. Uh, it was introduced because it is quite a, a pretty flower, um, but its, uh, its main effect on the, uh, on the habitat is that it can grow up through the trees, it can smother them and then kill anything that's under it. Today I'm going to give you some pointers on how to identify it and also on how to control it as well. An old man's beard is easiest to identify in the summer when it's, uh, when it's in full flower. As you can see here, it starts off with a small bud and then turns into a, a nice sort of uh, light creamy coloured flower. The vines have uh, five leaves coming off them, uh, which is again the main, uh, the main identifier. As the plant and the flower matures, uh, it becomes more of a, uh, a, a, has a woolly effect like here. So this is why uh, it's, it's got its name of, uh, of old man's beard. Uh, the first option is to uh, dig out the roots. Uh, a lot of people prefer to use that method as opposed to using any herbicides or sprays. The second method that, um, that we would recommend is by um, tracing the vines back down to the main vines down on the ground. Once you've followed the uh, vines back down to the ground, you can either use a uh, set of cicatiers and cut the vine off uh, and then apply a herbicide gel onto the, onto the stump. Where the plants are a little bit more mature, then um, you may need to get a small uh, silky saw and we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to cut that off and we're going to apply a herbicide gel. Now this herbicide gel will kill the plant down in the roots and providing that the uh, vines themselves aren't touching the ground, everything that's coming from those main vines will, will die. Uh, again, if you leave the vines in the, uh, in the tree, it's easy to see whether the plants have died uh, or if there's any areas that you've missed and that you have to go back and retreat. I've given you some pointers on how to identify and to control old man's beard. Uh, however, we do have a quite detailed brochure at the uh, Regional Council uh, as well as a detailed website 